So they're the key buttons that we'll use, but you'll notice that I swiped a lot more than I used these buttons. So it's really important to get used to using your fingers to swipe. Now there's a couple of ways that you can do this. First of all, you can see that I'm using two hands. So I'm holding my device in the first hand and then I'm using this finger to swipe. Now this is quite a large phone. Some people prefer to hold the device in one hand and use their thumb to swipe. It's really up to you. I find my hands are a bit little for this phone, so two hands works better. You've seen me swiping up and down on a website. You can also swipe left and right on some websites. And another one that's really handy is the zoom. So watch how I put my fingers together and spread them out. I'm actually zooming into this page. So you can see now that the text is huge. If I want to make it smaller, I start with my fingers outspread and I just zoom back in. Now it's back to its normal size. Really handy if you uh, want to just make something bigger. Maybe it's a small image or something like that that you want to have a look at. Some other really uh, cool and, and important sort of finger commands is how you can tap. So let's double tap on a word. Now you can see it's selected the entire word and you can see it's done that because it's highlighted it blue and it's given me these two little blue icons. Say for example I only wanted to select the epic learning there and I wanted to cut out the NZ. I can just now shuffle that little blue icon over here. Now I've only got epic learning selected. So from here I can cut, copy and paste. So maybe I want to cut that and then just do a search for NZ, which is going to give me a completely different search. If I want to now paste that, I can use my back button to get rid of that, hold it down, press paste, and now I've got paste, I've pasted Epic Learning back in there. Of course, every time I have an option to type, my keyboard comes up. So if I want to do a Google search from my Google widget here, I can just click on here and it automatically brings my keyboard up. And of course, you're going to use your keyboard like a normal keyboard, using your finger to type in what you are searching for.